Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to something a little bit different. Um, I decided to uh, do, like I said, something a little bit different. Uh, usually on this channel I do games, and lately the games have been things that uh, are on the creepy side. Things to make you feel a little uneasy, but nothing crazy. And I decided, you know what? What if I try to do something that I've never done before, and that's um, react to ghosts caught on camera by people that swear they're real? Um, I have not seen this video. I kind of just fast forward to a spot that looked, you know, somewhat creepy. It's just trees. But I figured I can go ahead and just uh, restart the video when I feel like it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, but the thing is, it's like, it's, it's not a lot, a lot really scares me. I mean, finances scare me and stuff like that. And, you know, I think those kind of terrify everybody. But the want of this video is to see, um, what videos other people have captured and see if they're really scary. And of course it's been my thing to pick apart these videos to, okay, I see that, but could it be this the reason or, you know, whatever. And, uh, if there's any videos or anything that make that, that I watch and still makes me scratch my head, you know, that's something else. But of course we've got the advent of technology now so that videos can be edited and faked and sh shifted and whatever. So this comes from Australia TV, I believe is the name of the YouTube channel. And I'm going to go over or go ahead and put the uh, link to this video in the description so that if you want to check them out for yourself, that's cool. Um, I probably would advise seeing how I'm kind of stealing it for the purposes of a video. Um, I should offer, go ahead and leave them a, a, a like and a subscribe or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to dive into it. I also want to say that I'm going to be pausing here and there. When I feel like I might have something to say, which, you know, I talk quite a bit, so chances are I might have something to say. So let's jump into this and go. So for today's drink, White Claw. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? So for today's drink, Okay. So she had the slider open. So it could have been almost anything that was in there. Ah. Uh, But you can see both sides of it, can't you? So for today's drink. All right. So I would say if the video is faked, um, it's a bad job. If it is because you got her over here and that over there. And if everything's kept in frame, like, she most likely has the phone on a mount. So naturally, you can you can edit that. If I can do it, anybody can. However, if it's not done like that, then there's the possibility of the open sliding glass door. There's no screen on it. So anything could have happened. Anything. Anything. There could have been like a rat or something crawling up there or a mouse or something crawling up there. And when she took off running, she scared it. It fell out and took off running. I'm going to do that one more time. So for today's drink... I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's creep. Ooh. All right. So we're going to back this one up. All right. 
So that's that's that one. Let's check this one out. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to that one. There's something strange about that one. I don't know if you can notice. As it gets to the road, it's got this little dark spot right here, like a shadow underneath it. I had, I don't want to... It looks like two sources being married together. I mean, digitally. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. It looks like uh, whoever was supposed to get rid of that little tracking spot on the ground didn't. I could be totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oh, and there's... Okay, that's the same one. Because you notice the ghost moves in time with that little little spot. I'm going to go back to it here. Yeah, it tri you stop. It travels with the ghost or ghost. Yeah, okay. That one, you saw something going past. It looks like a person walking. So myself, I, I'm not a huge believer in ghosts. Um, I used to be. Uh, if I saw one, I would be thrilled just so I could say they do exist. But, uh, and that's why when I, I watch things like this, it's like I try to figure out there's got to be other explanations. As for this thing walking across the window, let me see it one more time. Yeah. That's one thing about night vision is something that's night vision. It puts out this infrared kind of light. And the thing is it can be distorted much easier than lumens can. Um, so if you got something like walking over, well, the person in the video seems to see it and sets up. So that's 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 an interesting one. If it's not faked, that's very interesting. Right. Uh, you're not gonna want to miss any of this video. Okay, that that one, that was definitely fake. That was not real. Uh, that's definitely um. Definitely, I think uh, a camera was mounted in one spot. Someone just walked out there. And then maybe it started snowing. So they kept the camera on, he walked out, and then someone just laid both videos on top of each other. So the trees would look the same because they're all in the same spot, but only you got this weird kind of half-visible image moving through. It's a camera trick. It's easy to do. Okay, let's check out the next, yeah, next one. There are parts throughout the entire video that show visuals of I can't explain, he can't explain. There's audio of noises from something. There. The wind moving through trees. Back over there. Let's 
I couldn't really hear anything. That used to be the trail right there. That's the trail that you're supposed to take. Looks like we have a lot of bones. Yep. A lot of hair. Wild animals. Say these are probably from deer. Mm -hmm. Several of them. Ripped apart. Looks like they're ripped apart pretty good. So after seeing, I would I would have a uh, a possible explanation for that. Um, usually, when forest rangers or whatnot see like a a deer that a deer carcass that had died, um, basically they would move it to an area where other animals can feed on it. Um, people who have uh, uh, cow pastures and whatnot tend to do the same thing in certain parts of America where they would, especially in Southern States, not knocking them. Actually, I think it's a good, good thing. But like if a cow happens to die of natural causes or whatnot, and it's nothing that's uh, going to hurt the wildlife if eaten, they would just drag it to a place and just let whatever animals just feed off of it. And my guess with all those bones there, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if some kind of wild, wildlife um, officers or whatnot just have a designated area where if they find deer carcasses, they'll just try to haul them over there just to keep them away from paths and trails. Keeps the smell down. It keeps, you know, it keeps predators from, uh, uh, or predators, wild animals from getting on trail where people are going to be. That's why they kind of just put them in a spot where people don't really go. So that would be my guess for that one. The bones and everything, we decide to continue um, down to the cave, the Hozak's cave. Um, we had gotten permission to be able to actually fly a drone out at the park as long as we stayed away from any of the public areas like the lodge or cabins or you Makes know, sense. The campground. And the sounds that you're going to hear next are absolutely bone chilling. Now, the sounds of the leaves rustling, that's us moving around trying to pinpoint the exact location where the sounds are coming from. It's a cave, so. Probably a very deep cave. Probably got coyotes or something in there. Now at this point, I decided to take the drone up. I adjusted um, the settings on the camera to make the lights light and the darks really dark um, to try to get anything to stand out. So the picture's not that pretty, but we're trying to pinpoint what's making these sounds um, see if we could see anything at all and uh, we actually do and we're going to slow it down and show it a couple times and uh, I don't know you guys be the judge of it I don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking. is that that vapor down there oh over to the left Okay, I did notice it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. As you can see here, maybe I didn't go back uh, far enough. We actually do, and we're gonna slow it down and show it a couple times. And uh, I don't know, you guys be the judge of it. Yeah, I think this is the same vapor. that you see on the right hand side. It looks like there's a creek there. And it looks like there's fog coming in off the uh, little creek there. As you can see here, um, clouds have really thickened up and snow is on its way. Hmm. So I want to hurry up and try to land the drone 
so it doesn't get caught up in the snow because it's not waterproof. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna hike back to where we think we saw something and see if we can't catch it on you know our actual cameras up close. Bigfoot? Did you say Bigfoot? All right, all right, I'm backing that up. It's the Ohio grass. And, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hike back to where we think we saw something, and see if we can't catch it on you know our actual cameras up close. I I will say it's definitely a. can't catch it on you know our actual cameras I'm gonna try close. to pause the video really okay so let me see if I can if we can't catch it on you know our actual cameras up close I see you got someone out here with out here with a Chewbacca costume. I don't know. It's the Ohio grass man. I don't know. I don't really have a belief in Bigfoot. Or Sasquatches or Sam Squanches, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, um, oh, it's a better look at. Yeah, it's definitely. I think it's. It looks like someone in a costume. Looks like someone in a costume. The way the the costumes hanging off of them. I could be totally wrong, but it looks like someone in a costume. Yeah, I'm highly stupid to walk out here in a suit and get shot. He's right behind that tree. The big one. Look. And his hair's gray and black. Is that gray? Is that snow? That's not snow. It's gray. Or brown. Okay. Okay. I would love to right now segue into another video because I just... Okay. It's like they're spending a great deal of time on this video. And I just... question very much this video. Okay. Whatever it is, is not bothered by your sounds because you're obviously making more sounds than it is. So I think it's it's chimed up to my my sub my supposition. I think it's a dude in a suit, or even a woman in a suit. Who knows? Yes, 
So you're looking at where it stepped now? <laughs> I love your Chewbacca costume. Was different. Is it really making that sound? And sounds can be laid in just like anything else can. It's looking back at you, dude. So we lost contact with whatever it is. Can't see it, can't hear it. Um, finally stopped snowing. The sky's starting to clear up a little bit. We were hoping to be able to see something. Um, we didn't, so we decided to leave. Definitely so interesting. I still question the validity of it. Um, hope to hear or see some. We didn't. Um, so I guess the ultimate question is, was this the Ohio grass Bigfoot stand? Ridge. Was this Bigfoot, or was this something? Okay, the fact that it's actually called Bigfoot Ridge makes me question it more. Um, but like I said, I don't really have much of a belief in Bigfoot. I kind of think of... If if it did exist, it's like I'm on the what if kind of thing with that. I don't really believe in it, but I don't not believe it either. The thing is, it's like if it's so damn elusive, then how the hell were you able to cop capture it on camera? Why would it stick around that long? I was like, I think the second it heard you, it probably would have taken off running or tried to find a way to make a noise or something to get you to, to scare you to get the hell out. But the fact that it's Barefoot Ridge... It's like, I wonder how many people will go out there and dress up as Bigfoot, put on costumes, like, or pick up, put on Bigfoot costumes, and just try to keep the legend alive or something, you know? You've seen Scooby-Doo, I've seen Scooby-Doo, you know. Completely different. Is the rest of this video just this? If you have any stories about the Ohio Grassman at Salt Fork, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. Do you have any thought? Is that it? Okay, there is more at the end. Good. Not a lot, but... Like and share this with your friends and family. Ugh. My Harry. Okay, there's a cat in this video. Alright, I saw that. Oh, I'm still seeing it. I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. It's an infrared camera, so it's night vision, and you're looking at a spider web. It's literally a spider web. Um, I have been on my phone at when I was working at the theater because we have we had cameras all around the uh, the building, and um, in the office, when the light was off, it, the infrared turned on. And there was one night when I was sitting downstairs. Uh, I believe it was downstairs at the time. Um, I saw this white thing move in front of the lens. I'm like, what the hell is that? And it looked kind of like a little wisp of something. And it looked just like this video. Only thing is like 30 seconds later, you saw this white. Well, it was a black spider, but it's white in the infrared. Climb up this little this this thing that that was in front of the camera. So it's like, yeah, we got a spider in the office, and it looked just like that. So it's like that's why it probably looks so fuzzy 
is because the camera is trying to um, it's trying to keep everything in focus that's way out there. And then you got this thing that's right in front of the camera. So the camera kind of blurs it a little bit. That's my guess of what that is. That looks like a little bit of cobweb or spider web just dangling in front of the camera. It probably broke loose or something and then just started swinging in front of the camera. That's my guess. So every draft you get with the, the heat kicks on, you know, any small little draft, it's just going to start wiggling just a little bit and then it'll finally slow down and Okay. Okay. So I guess that was that. Could the video have been better? Yeah. <laughs> video could have been better. Um, that was interesting though. That whole thing in the woods, I just, I felt like that was probably about, what, 15 minutes of my life, 10, 15 minutes of my life. I'm never going to get back. But uh, yeah, a lot of that seemed, um, pretty straightforward the sound they heard at first never heard it about the only only video there that i thought was actually quite interesting was the uh the one with the night vision camera where the thing went across um again i doubt a spider web played paid any uh part in that one um but like i said with the advent of technology you can make anything look like anything and put it up there and not even say anything about it and People will just say, oh, yeah, that's real. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I doubt I'm going to be doing another video like this. But I decided, you know what? It's for a bit of fun. So why not? So until next time. Goodbye.